morning YouTube on a dull, slightly damp Monday morning. I'm just off now to Graham's Motorcycles in Taunton to get me rear tyre puncher fixed. With the rate it has been going down, hopefully I should be alright to get there. Checked it this morning and it had only gone down by about 2 psi since yesterday afternoon. Obviously there's a chance why I'm riding it might go down faster. But at the moment I've got no warning lights on and I put her back up to what it should be. I know the puncture is very very slow. It is a nail and it's acting like a sort of semi-plug but it's not helping that the conditions are wet if she does start to go down pretty quickly I've got me compressor in the top box in case I need it so let's just head to Graham's on a damp morning and all being well hopefully the weather's going to be okay I'll be doing a Santa on a bike to Barnstable on Saturday if the weather isn't brilliant but it's better Sunday there's another run I could do instead going to Little Bridge House the same Children's Hospice Southwest but that, that's a present run the Sunday one the Santa on the bikes raising funds that we'll have to wait and see what happens, obviously. But let's get the Taunton first and hope I can get there without any warning lights coming up on me dash to say I've got a low tyre. When I was last out on her, which was a week ago yesterday, I thought it was the front one. But it wasn't, it was the rear. Right, I'm going this way. This traffic's nice and light at the moment. Well, I've given me safe nearly an hour to get here, so thank you. I could be there for 11. I've given me safe extra time in case I do have to stop and put some air in it. Hopefully, I won't. Also give me a chance to do another tester on my new camera setup. But I'm gonna have to redo my chin mount on the lid. I noticed this morning one of the arms on it had come slightly loose. I've pushed it back for now. I think it'd be alright. The other arm in the centre bit seems solid enough. I'll check it again when I get the grams and though I'm not happy then I might not put the camera back on for the return run. I've got some Sugaru. I'll redo it. I was looking at possibly doing that anyway because I've looked at it and I might be able to feed me mic lead in underneath one of the arms to the mount which will tidy that up. My main bug bear is me eight. For some reason that keeps switching itself on for no reason even when it's in the case as i took it out this morning flat battery i'm probably gonna have to start taking the battery out but the trouble is when you do that the clock and everything needs resetting which is a pain in the ass at least the rain ain't heavy in fact i think it might even have stopped it's forecast to round about 10 ish. And the direction I'm heading in is the direction it's coming from as well. So I should be heading towards the dryer slot, hopefully. I won't be going my, away because of me tyre. I'll also be watching me speed. Especially in these damp conditions. looking a bit brighter unless I get the warning light coming on I won't be bothering to stop to check the tyre oh well this is my third time out with the new camera set up I've had bright sunshine 
cloudy and no rain. Still no warning nights. Bit of blue sky over there, that's what I like to see. Well, I've done my waistcoat up again because I'm not used to wearing it. Going through North Peloton. I just say all oh, this is coming out because it would not switch on on voice when I wanted to record just now. Wouldn't be a ride out for me without roadworks. Hmm. I've got no warning light on but my back tyre is starting to feel a bit washy at times. She's feeling a little bit skittish on these damp conditions. But unless I get a warning light, I'm going to assume that she's all right, pressure-wise. Airplugs aren't in properly again. I'm having a lot of problems with them recently. Oh well, I'm going to invest in a pair of the Custom Guard ones in the new year. Bit of sunshine! That's what I like to see. At least I should have a dry ride back, hopefully, with a tyre which is holding its pressure. I hope. It's looking a lot brighter out to the west, which is where this weather's coming from. Fortunately I'm not going to be able to make the NEC this year. One of them things. Well, it's early days yet with this new setup, but the footage I've been getting so far, it's certainly been good. I haven't done any colour correction on it at all at the moment. It's been as it's come out the camera. All do I tweak it a little bit normally, I just normalise it and then tweak it up if it needs it. Just turn the volume up a little bit after I normalised it to the setting I got it for. I swear I gotta really watch it round the baits in these damp conditions. I think the tyre's alright, I've got no tyre pressure warning yet. And she doesn't feel squeamish now either like it did back there a bit, so I wonder if there was a bit of oil on the road. So if I can do Santa on a bike Saturday, I'm hoping the weather's going to be alright. I'm also hoping it's going to be good enough, I might be able to get the drone up and do a few shots. Three possibilities if I can. At the start in Taunton, at the log cabin, because we normally stop there for a quick break. Or if not, log cabin in Barnstable itself, where we stop to have our main break before we go on to the hospice. So far so good. Well, once I'm in the centre of Taunton there's going to be immaterial, I'm just going to have to chance it and keep going. Sun's coming out. Happy days! Hey, this is all new. This is basically a West Monkton bypass, this is, taking the traffic away from there. So it's more motorcycle there from Bridgewater. I think they're on their CBTs because that's 125s they're on. This is where I'll be coming Saturday, if we go. Coming out this way. Turn left at this roundabout into the industrial estate. There is a driving test centre round there, so they might be going to that. Because it's round by where we meet up for the centre on a bike. 
Now I'm going to decide in a minute what route I'm going to take. Over the viaduct, that's going to depend on what the traffic's looking like. This time of day, hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. At the moment, I'm taking the route we'll be taking Saturday. So I'm doing a sort of dress rehearsal on this bit. But that one, I'm probably going to have me eight on my top box filming behind. Because it's a group ride. Yeah, then we go straight on here. 27 minutes so far to get to here. Well, slightly less than that. It's 27 minutes since I turned the cameras on. In the centre of Taunton. Just coming up to East Reach. Didn't think I was going to make it. Coming up on the inside. Not sitting in that traffic. This is where it can become a pain now, sunshine with damp roads. Hopefully it would have dried up a little bit by the time I go to come back. Twenty to eleven, I've just gotta be there for eleven. I'm gonna get there about between five and ten too at this rate. Remember, I've got to keep me neck tube on today. Face coverings required. Right, I'm at grounds. I'll speak to you all later.